Tace Ellisi, a British-American author, delves into themes of parental inadequacy and the profound shame that leads a man to forsake his family, fearing their judgment. Her debut novel, Ghana Must Go, 2013, navigates the aftermath of abandonment, exploring how each child copes in their own way with the absence of their father, Kweku Sai. Despite some of his children scarcely recalling his presence, the void left by his departure profoundly impacts them. The Sai family grapples with Kweku's demise, wrestling with unresolved family matters. The narrative unfolds through multiple perspectives, offering insights into each family member's worldview. Though Kweku has departed, his wife and children are left to confront the repercussions of his passing and unresolved affairs. The story commences as Kweku, a Ghanaian surgeon, succumbs to a heart attack in the garden of a house he sketched on a napkin, brought to life by an old yogi. Reflecting on his life, he reminisces about his children's births, the injustices of his professional downfall, and his first wife, Falasade. Meanwhile, Anna, his current wife, remains unaware of his deteriorating condition, while Falasade grapples with her own past heartbreak. As preparations for Kweku's funeral ensue, the novel unravels the complexities of a once prosperous family, facing unexpected turmoil. Born into poverty, Kweku's rise to prominence as a respected surgeon contrasts sharply with his wrongful dismissal and subsequent attempts to conceal it, triggering a cascade of events that upend their seemingly idyllic lives in Massachusetts. Unable to confront the shame of his dismissal, Kweku abandons his wife Falasade, leaving her to raise their children alone as he retreats to his homeland, Ghana. His children reside overseas in America, where Kweku had emigrated before returning to Ghana and starting a new family. The narrative delves into each child's reaction upon learning of their father's passing and how it shapes their individual struggles. Olu, the eldest, mirrors his father's profession as a surgeon, residing in Las Vegas with his beloved wife Ling. Despite his deep affection for her, Olu grapples with accepting Ling as part of his family. Taiwo and Kehind, the twins, bear emotional scars from a harrowing experience in Lagos during their youth. Taiwo, gifted in writing, pursues a legal career, but is sidetracked by a scandalous affair with her college dean. Kehind, a renowned painter, isolates himself in his Brooklyn studio, haunted by past traumas. The twins' resentment towards their father is heightened by their mother's betrayal, sending them to live with an abusive uncle in Nigeria due to financial struggles. Sadie, the youngest, struggles with insecurity and bulimia, striving to meet the standards set by her accomplished siblings and fulfill her parents' expectations. She yearns to assimilate into her privileged white roommate's family at college. As the novel progresses, it culminates in a reunion of the siblings on a Ghanaian beach, grappling with the death of a father they barely knew. Ghana Must Go garnered a nomination for an NAACP Image Award, showcasing Celesi's prowess as a writer, previously lauded for her compelling short story The Sex Lives of African Girls. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.